So Assassin's Creed Valhalla is releasing in just over a week, and even though players haven't had a chance to play the campaign yet, we are already looking forward to the future of the game and the franchise as a whole. Now with every Ubisoft game, there is going to be microtransactions and season pass DLC. Now this DLC varies from clothing items, horse skins, and other small items to fully blown missions and separate campaigns. Now in this video, we are going to be talking about everything you need to know about what's included within Assassin's Creed Valhalla season pass as well as how much it will cost. So if you go on to enjoy this video then click the like button down below and make sure you subscribe. Over 90% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Assassin's Creed Valhalla news and gameplay videos then smash that subscribe button down below. Now without further ado let's get straight into the video. So about a week or two ago Ubisoft released their season pass trailer for Assassin's Creed Valhalla on all of their YouTube channels and social media sites such as Facebook and Twitter. Now in all of this we got the chance to see a whole bunch of brand new gameplay, new weapons, new locations and new bosses. We also got to take a look at the new roadmap for the game which I shall get into later in this video. But to start off we are going to talk about how exactly you can get the season pass. Now one of the best ways to get it is simply by buying the game. Now as all of you know different game companies create different editions for certain games that come with big and better benefits each time you move up the list of options. Obviously the season pass isn't bundled in with the standard edition of the game but it is bundled in with the gold edition. For years now Ubisoft have offered the gold edition on every single game they have released. They offered it on Assassin's Creed Unity, Origins, Odyssey and now Valhalla. They offered it on Ghost Recon Wildlands and Breakpoint. They even offered it on Rainbow Six Siege and yes they offered it on Watch Dogs 2 and Watch Dogs Legion. So what exactly do you get from the gold edition? Edition. Well apart from the game, you just get the season pass. Now I know it might seem like a lot but a season pass in games allow players to access up and coming DLC and other microtransaction that players wouldn't be able to get otherwise. In the previous Assassin's Creed game, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, players who brought the season pass were able to get access to multiple expansion passes that allowed fans to access different storylines that continued the arc of either Cassandra or Alexios. These two separate DLCs allowed for hours and hours of extra gameplay and allowed us not only travel to different locations within the historical aspect of the game but also within the mythical and modern day elements of Odyssey. Now though we will still be getting big DLC stories and updates, the way Ubisoft are going about it is very different to what we've seen from the franchise so far. With Assassin's Creed Valhalla they are going the same route of their other games and have given fans a roadmap detailing exactly what they will be doing. Now coming directly from Ubisoft fans fans will be getting free content throughout the year. This includes a new settlement area, allowing players to continue to grow and evolve their settlement, something that you can already do in the main game, but this one will add more shops and different quests for you to complete for the different NPCs you have in your settlement. Players will also get a traditional Viking festival, the Yule Festival, for players to experience in their settlement. And a new game mode titled River Raids, building on Valhalla's core raiding mechanic, the game mode will deliver a dynamic, challenging and highly playable raid experience. Ubisoft are also going to add ranks for their Yom's Vikings. Now if you didn't know, in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, players can create a lieutenant to be part of their raiding crew, but they can also recruit someone for their friends and the community's Yom Vikings onto their own team. In Season 1, players will see an update to Yom's Vikings that will allow their players to earn XP and rank up. The higher the rank of the lieutenant, the more silver players will earn when recruited by other players. So to me, this is the great reason for players to really really invest in Yom's Vikings features, because if the player creates an amazingly skilled, high ranked Viking, then it's going to be picked by more people in the community, and then that player gets more silver to buy more cool shit in the game. It's a win-win scenario. Now season 1 and all of the other seasons will come with new player skills and abilities, weapons and gear, and cosmetic items for the settlement, longships, horses and your raven. Season 2, which they state is also free to all players, will follow on for March 2021 and will also include free content including a new combat oriented game mode, a Yom's Viking update and settlement festivals along with new gear and cosmetic items. Details on season 3 will be revealed at a later date. They go on to say that season 2 isn't the only coming content in 2021. Now all of the first round of the season 1 content begins this December just under a month after release. In December's players can expect to get free seasonal content and in-game items like the 
Viking Yule Festival as well as the settlement buildings and game modes. So for those of you who don't know what a Yule Vikings Yule Festival is, it's a huge celebration that included drinking, feasting, songs, games, banquets and sacrifices for the gods and the ancestor spirits. The Vikings also had a huge Yule tree which we saw in the trailer that actually inspired the now world famous Christmas tree. The green tree was also decorated like a modern tree but instead of tinsel and baubles and a star at the top, the Vikings were decorated with small statues of their Norse gods, food and clothes. Basically it's Christmas but Viking style. And with these updates continuing in 2021 and probably into 2022 and for free, you really have to give it to Ubisoft and more specifically the dev team for giving us such amazing content throughout the year. And now we progress on to the big ones, the main storyline DLC and bonus quest. Now the bonus quest is titled The Legend of Beowulf. Not much is known about this additional side quest but from what history tells us, Beowulf is an old English epic poem that follows the life of this brutal warrior and his battles against three vicious monsters, one of them including a terrifying dragon. Going off the trailer, I believe that players will actually be tracking down the monsters from within the poem and battling them. And if we get to fight the dragon, I hope it's on a similar scale to the battle in Origins, where players got to fight that big ass snake which was incredibly fun. So my theory is that the poem of Beowulf is about Eivor, why else would the character be tracking these beasts in the main story? Now the first of the main DLCs will be releasing early 2021 and is called Wrath of the Druids. This story will take players on a journey to Ireland as Eivor tries to unravel the mysteries of an ancient druid cult. The main villains of the DLC are called the Children of Danu Cult and players are tasked with discovering who their members are and then hunting them down and fighting them. Players will be also able to raid Ring Fort and even get to travel around and influence the trading systems of Dublin. One thing Ubisoft did go on to mention is that the Wrath of the Druids is really an expansion that will please fans as this DLC really focuses on the Celtic, the Druids and the darker tones of mysteries that are present within the game. Now I'm really excited for this DLC personally. I love the darker tones of the Assassin's Creed franchise and to really explore Ireland hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years ago is amazing. Already in Valhalla we will be able to visit more than one country and we'll be able to visit one more in the second expansion called the Siege of Paris. This DLC takes place during one of the most recognizable events in Viking history. Now in this DLC players will be able to explore a war-torn Francia as you encounter historical figures. During this expansion players will be able to replay certain activities and raid the elite units of Charles the Fat. Within the Siege of Paris players will also get to infiltrate, create alliances and try to conquer Paris from within. So out of the two major expansions coming to Valhalla, the Siege of Paris really excites me the most. Going off the concept art they showed during the trailer, it looks like we'll be able to scale Paris' rooftops and get a chance to feel like an assassin again. Huge possibilities for stealth gameplay which I love. Now the big question is, when will the two major expansions be released and that will be in 2021. The first one being released early to mid 2021 and the second during the summer of 2021. I for one cannot wait to get my hands on the expansion pass and bring you guys so much great gameplay and videos about the new skills, weapons, locations and more and before I go the season pass will more or less likely be $32.99 similar to Watch Dogs Legion. So if you guys did enjoy this video and want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Assassin's Creed Valhalla videos then click that subscribe button down below. We are so close to 10k subs and it would be great to hit it by the end of the year. Also like the video and share it around. It really helps the channel grow and when we get to 10k I have a huge announcement slash giveaway planned so now is a great time to subscribe. I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video.